Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked for the function g whose graph is given, state the following. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x. And we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of g of x. So what this means is not that we're actually seeing what happens when x equals infinity. We're saying as x increases beyond the bounds of the graph that we can see, what is the value that we would expect the function to take? And we can see that as x gets bigger and bigger, it's increasing and decreasing and increasing and decreasing, but the function is staying around this value. Therefore, we can say as x goes off to infinity, the value of the function is going to stay around this point. This is a y value of 2, therefore we say the limit is equal to 2. Similar thing here, hovering around this point here, increasing and decreasing, but getting smaller and smaller in the actual changes that we're making, approaching you might say, this value, which is y equals negative 1. If I can write it correctly. The limit as x approaches 0 of g of x is a little bit different. We're saying, as the value of x gets closer and closer to 0, where does the value of g of x approach? We can see that as we get closer and closer to x equals 0, the values of g of x are getting smaller and smaller. Therefore, we can say as we get closer and closer, the value of the function is going to approach negative infinity. Here we have a similar thing, the limit as x approaches 2, but we have it separated in the limit from the left and the limit from the right. That's because in this particular case, they approach different values. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left means that we are looking at values that are getting closer to 2, but are less than 2. In this case, that means we're starting, let's say, from 1. We see as we get closer and closer to 2, the values of the function get smaller and smaller, and similar to 0, we can say that they go off to negative infinity. Meanwhile, from the other side, starting, let's say, at 3 and getting closer to 2, the value of the function is getting larger and larger and going off to positive infinity. In part f, we're asked to uh, state the equations of the asymptotes. Luckily, we've been given that by our answers. The asymptotes are the values that the function is approaching, not necessarily being at it at any particular point, but approaching it over a distance, whether that's x distance or y distance. Therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches infinity of the function is equal to 2. Therefore, y equals 2 is a horizontal asymptote. Same thing, as x approaches negative infinity, the function approaches negative 1. y equals negative 1 is another horizontal asymptote, right? As we go horizontally in this direction, the function approaches this value. We also have some vertical asymptotes, right? As x approaches 0, the function approaches negative infinity. So we can think of this as a line right through this function. It's getting closer and closer, but it's never reaching it x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. Another one, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left and the right don't agree, but they do both exist. Therefore, we can say as we get closer and closer to 2, the function is uh, going off to infinity or negative infinity. Therefore, it has asymptotic behavior around it. And x equals 2 is another asymptote. Therefore, we have now found the values of the limits and the asymptotes for this particular function at these particular points.